اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیٹا ڈسٹریبیوشن ان پی ایل ایس ایس سی ایم اے نمبر آف ٹائمز آر بین آسٹ ویدر وی شوڈ چیک فار نارملٹی آف آور ڈیٹا وین یوزنگ پی ایل ایس ایس سی ایم پرائمرلی وین یوزنگ اسمارٹ پی ایل ایس In this short session, we are going to look into whether we should check for data distribution or not. When the researchers collect quantitative data, that is the survey data that we collect, the answers to the questions asked are reported as a distribution across the available predefined response categories. That is, we choose our answers to a particular statement from either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or any response scale where one normally refers to strongly disagree five may refer to strongly agree one may refer to strongly dissatisfied five may refer to strongly satisfied for example if responses are requested using a seven point agree disagree scale then a distribution of answers in each of the possible response categories 1 2 3 up until 7 can be calculated and displayed in the form of a table that is a frequency table or a bar chart or a histogram exhibit shows an example of the frequencies of a corresponding variable x as can be seen most of the respondents here indicated a 4 on the 7 point likert scale followed by 3 and 5 and finally barely visible 1 and 7 overall the frequency count approximately follows a bell shaped symmetric curve around the mean value here of 4 the bell shaped curve is the normal distribution with where you have majority of the values concentrated in the middle with very few values on the left and very few values on the right now there are different ways the distributions exist and they can be normal binomial poisson researchers working with scm structural equation modeling generally only need to distinguish between normal from non normal distributions normal distributions are usually desirable especially when working with covariance based scm when using emos or any other tool like lizrel as well Now in contrast PLS SCM generally makes no assumptions about the data distributions however it is worthwhile to consider the distribution when working with PLS SCM there are no assumptions but still you cannot neglect it to assess whether the data follows a normal distributions you can apply kolgomorov smirnov test or shapiro wilk test However, in majority of the cases what we normally do is researchers examine two measures of distribution that is skewness and kurtosis which allow assessing to what extent the data deviates from normality. Now skewness normally has to be in the range of plus minus 2 where kurtosis can go up until 5 some some even some researchers have mentioned up until 10 as well. Now you can look into the book of Joel Collier on Amos where he has mentioned and that kurtosis can go up until 10 you can look for other references as well one is here here black babin and anderson and use their recommendation for the skewness and kurtosis now again there shouldn't be extreme violations of normality this is the reason i always encourage scholars to check the data normality or data distribution using skewness and kurtosis to be sure that there are no extreme violations of normality now how can we do this in smart pls now here is smart pls and let's say i open this data and if we come down here skewness and kurtosis now i'm interested in this data here and if i look here the response to the items the skewness is well within the range of 2 where kurtosis is also well within the range of 2 so i do not see any issue of normality in my data and i can go ahead with my analysis thank you very much